Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire, Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today. And this is an update from London. A special thanks to our reporters Dave Nathan and UK NIP for their coverage from the scene. There has been three murders in one day in London and these really do need discussing. As we're entering the summer and everyone's coming out of lockdown, there is going to be a lot of more confrontations. And to understand the seriousness and the consequences to it is something that I think is something we need to discuss. The first murder in London occurred in Sutton on May the 27th after police were called to a property in Cheam in the Sutton area. They found a woman in her 40s suffering from stab wounds and her life could not be saved and she died died at the scene. In the early hours of the morning on May the 28th, two further incidents occurred, one being a fatal stabbing of a 74 year old man in Lewisham and the second one a man shot in North London outside the underground. So before we talk about them in detail, the assumption being that most of these should be young people but there's actually two older people involved in these stories which would definitely raise questions on the context. A man has been arrested after the woman was stabbed in her home in Sutton on May the 27th. Metropolitan Police said there was called to a property on Park Road in Cheam at 5 to 10, where they found a woman in her 40s suffering from multiple stab wounds. Officers performed first aid on their arrival with London Ambulance Service and also air ambulance arrived. The woman was pronounced dead at 10.34. Police were currently in the process of informing her relatives and she has not yet been identified. Forensic teams were seen combing the area near the woman's property looking for evidence and the news comes as a shock to the Sutton community with the local MP Elliot Colburn expressing his sadness on Twitter saying that they are concerned the woman was tragically killed in Cheam after being fatally stabbed. So my condolences to the family of that woman and we'll definitely give you an update anything to do with that story. In the second story on May the 28th, a man in his 20s was shot dead in North London. Police launched a murder investigation the morning after a man was shot outside a Harringay London underground tube station. Officers were called to Turnpike Lane and Willoughby Lane in North London in the early hours of Friday morning to report of a firearm discharge. London an ambulance service raced to the scene where the man was believed to have been in his 20s and was suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. Despite their best efforts, paramedics arrived at the scene, but he died at 1.55am. His family have been informed and a second shooting victim presented himself in a North London hospital at around the same time. Police believe he was attacked on Park Lane in Tottenham, three miles from Turnpike Lane, and it's not been confirmed if the two incidents were linked. A police cordon remains at the scene and the police are expected to take it down shortly to free up the high street that is a very busy road for vehicles that can't go through at the minute. Sniffer dogs have been in patrol in the area which has a violent reputation according to the local community that spoke to my London newspaper at the scene. My London newspaper have also said that a drill music video was filmed in the vicinity of the attack on Thursday, May the 27th. Shopkeepers on Turnpike Lane told my London they had regularly been harassed by gang members and say violent crime in the area is very common. No arrests have been made yet, but inquiries are ongoing. On May the 28th, the third murder was about the 74-year-old. A 23-year-old has been arrested for that murder in Lewisham. This happened in the early hours of the morning at 5 o'clock and following reports of a concern for welfare from an occupant at an address in New Cross. The Metropolitan Police arrived at the address on Wild Goose Drive, New Cross, alongside the ambulance service, and a 74-year-old man was found with knife injuries. Police confirmed that despite the best efforts of emergency services, the man was pronounced dead at 5.57am. A murder investigation has been launched, and a 23-year-old man was arrested at the scene on suspicion of murder. The suspect was taken to a South London police station, where he he remains this evening. Please confirm the victim and the suspect were known to each other and the next of kin have been informed and police are awaiting a formal identification. That is a fast paced investigation and we'll definitely keep you updated on that. Rest in peace to the victim who has yet to be identified. But again, knowing the context of each story definitely can affirm that people are not just getting shot dead every second of every day. These are cases that, as we're showing another story, will end up getting convictions. So I really appreciate you joining me for this episode. I'll be back again in 10 minutes with another episode. So please don't forget to turn on your bell for notifications and follow us on social media as well at Scar City Studios. Peace.